We are in Nara. 45 minute train ride south from Kyoto and $5. I've heard a lot about uh, people taking day trips to Nara from Kyoto. Nara is pretty small and condensed, so you can get a lot done just by walking in one day and just go explore the area before we head back to Kyoto this evening. This is some Japanese famous mochi. Spilling everywhere. Sweet, subtle, chewy. <laughs> it was so cool because it was like they were almost like dancing when they were pounding that mochi. The whole thing was only 900 yen for six big pieces of mochi, so that's just about $6.60. And again, this is really famous, really popular mochi out here in Japan. Just up the street, like two minutes, is this beautiful little pond right in the middle of the city. This is my friend uh, Bambi. We're just taking a stroll together. Good energy here. I think there's a deer and there's a pagoda. Deer, pagoda. Another deer, a temple. So you're supposed to bow. Oh, <laughs> and they bow back. Oh, you're so good. You're so good. It's, like a, it's like a dog. That's all you got. That's all you got. <laughs> So there is actually like a proper etiquette with these deer. They're all over. As you can see, there's literally a hundred just all around the town. It's so cool. Proper etiquette is to buy the right deer crackers. Keep in mind, they will snip at your clothes, at your bags. They will chase you because they think you have more. As much as you can, you just put your hands in the air shows them that you're done. Right now we're at the Todaiji Temple that was built in the 700s. It serves as a place of prayer for peace and is also a center of Buddhist doctrinal research. This is one of the biggest wooden structures in the world and it's even 33% smaller than the original structure, which was damaged several times throughout the centuries. Okay, we are grabbing lunch at this, uh, it's actually a house converted into a restaurant. We're sitting in one of the bedrooms, I think. There's even like, yeah, I think they have kids here, obviously. And there's just a couple tables in here and it's literally like a traditional house. It looks incredible. We got some hot soba, chicken cutlets with egg and rice, some mugi cha, barley tea, in this nice bedroom. So that was a delicious and sort of strange experience. Um, this place is called Cafe Noel in Nara. I would recommend it. It was a very unique experience. I'm literally in someone's yard right now. You walk through their front door. Yeah, it almost didn't feel like a restaurant. It just felt like you were in somebody's house eating a home-cooked meal, but it was really, really good regardless. Hi. Hello? What? Are you feeding me? Yeah. So we made it back to our house in Kyoto for our last night here. Nara in general, all the shops, restaurants, they close definitely earlier than Tokyo and Kyoto. So we came back to Kyoto and are gonna spend our last night here. But if you made it to the end of this video, thanks so much. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe and we'll see you tomorrow.